hello guys welcome back to my channel so the episode of this is fate you watched on zayward tonight that is the 5th of september 2022 is the last season finale of this is fate for this period this is fate is coming back probably next year so as this is fate is ending twist of fate will be replacing this is fate so that is why i decided to bring the update of twist of fate to you guys so this is how twist of fate will be starting starting from tomorrow being the 6th of september 2022 so before zero decided to take twist of fate off her the last time abby got to know the truth about alia and tano and abby throws them out of pragya's house and on the other hand Rambo and Prachi consummated their marriage during their honeymoon trip, even though Rhea tried all her best to destroy their honeymoon, but they consummated their marriage. So seeing that she can no longer get Abby, Tano decided to team up with Gorav. Abby was angry that Gorav tried to murder Pragya, so Abby decided to go and confront Gorav. But in the process of the confrontation, Gorav rendered Abby unconscious. Pragya goes to Abby to rescue Abby from Gorav, but in the process, Pragya and Abby were attacked by Gorav and they end up being in coma. So Abby and Pragya were still in coma when the police got to know about everything and the police goes to Gorav's house to arrest him and they found Tanu also there and the police arrested Tanu, Gorav's father and also Gorav. So which means that Tanu was sent to prison. So since Abby and Pragya refused to wake up from coma, then the story now takes a turn and focus on their children, that is Rhea and Prachi and also Rambro and the Kuli's family. So in order to finally throw Prachi out of Rambro's life, Rhea decided to set Prachi and Sidat up and Rhea accused Prachi of sleeping with Sidat and this got Rambro very furious after seeing Prachi and Sidat together on the same bed. Prachi tried all her best to tell everyone the truth that she did not do what they accuse her of, but nobody um, wants to listen to Prachi. Palavi feels betrayed by Sedat and Palavi decided to perform the last rituals, saying that she doesn't want to have anything to do with Sedat anymore. And she did the last ritual for Sedat, even though the person she's doing last ritual for is still alive. After the last ritual, there's nothing Prachi is still staying in the house for, so Palavi decided to throw Prachi out of the house. So just like the way this is fate is also ending now, where Karan and Prita get separated, that was how Twist of Fate was ended then too. Rambru and Prachi get separated. So now that I've done the recap of what happened before the show ended on z -Word. now let's get into how the show is going to start again so what you're about to watch now is the new season of the beginning of the love story of Prachi and Rambro. Please keep watching. The show takes a leap of one month. So one month later in New Delhi, Rambro gets down from his black luxurious car and he is looking strong and powerful than before. The reporter comes to Rambro and asks if he wants to crack a big deal of the Kohli industries. Rambro tells the reporters that he sees the deal as a challenge. The reporter asks Rambro if he bought the hotel with much more money than required. Rambro says that he gave 50% extra to buy the hotel, and if the hotelier wanted, then he would have bought the hotel for a double price. The reporters ask Rambro why he wanted to buy that particular hotel, and Rambro says that he bought the hotel due to his stubbornness. Rhea smiles looking at Rambro's interview on the TV, and she switched off the TV. Palavi says that after Prachi left from their house, problems has gone away from Rambro's life and he is doing so well for himself. And her son's photo now comes in the newspaper and his interviews comes in the magazine and he is doing so good for himself and she feels proud of him. Palavi says that after Siddharth also left the business, then Rambro took the business to the next level and Rambro's name is now mentioned as a business tycoon. Palavi says that all the success that Rambro is getting now would have happened before if that middle class Prachi was not in his life and it was Prachi that made Rambro return to his house really late. Rhea says that Palavi should not feel bad anymore because nevertheless, Rambro has finally returned home but unfortunately, Rambro did not return to her because he is still thinking about Prachi. Rhea says that she is still waiting to marry Rambro but Rambro is busy with work 
and Rhea asked Palavi that when will Rambo marry her? Palavi asked Rhea to calm down and says that Rambo would marry Rhea, but before that, Rambo has to make himself become strong to forget Prachi fully. Palavi says that people take different means to overcome breakup, and Rambo has put himself in coal mine, and he is doing great in his business now. At the office, a guy asks Rambo if he should arrange for the celebration party because he knows that Rambo will get the deal, but Rambo says that he doesn't like party. The client tells Rambo that they like party, and Rambo says that everyone can attend the party, but they should not call him, and Rambo leaves from there. The employee tells the client that Rambo is like that and he is not understandable. Rambo calls one of his employees and he asks that why did he come late to the office and if he comes late again, then he would be fired. The employee says that he knows that Rambo will not fire him because his brother was Rambo's college friend and Rambo loves him, so Rambo will not fire him. Rambo says that he doesn't love the employee and he only loves his work, so it should not be too personal. At the Coley's house, Palavi tells Rhea that if Rambo stays busy, then he would forget Prachi. Rhea says that she is worried because they are only keeping Rambo away from Prachi, but not from Prachi's memories because Rambo loves Prachi a lot and if Rambo and Prachi meet again, then Rambo will go back to Prachi. Rhea tells Palavi that their servant, that is Sony's sister called Jita, went to Prachi and Jita told Prachi that she felt bad for Prachi for whatever happened with Prachi. So Prachi has hired Jita to work for her, but in reality, Jita doesn't work for Prachi, but she is working for her because she was the one that asked Jita to go and work for Prachi as part of her plan. Rhea says that today, Jita sent her a video and Rhea shows the video to Palavi in which Prachi is looking very sad. Rhea tells Palavi that if Rambo sees this video of Prachi being sad, then Rambo's heart would melt for Prachi again, and she cannot let that happen. At the traffic signal, Rambo is in his car, while Prachi is in another car with Sushma. Prachi is lost in thought sitting in the car, and a pen vendor knocks on the car window, and she asks Prachi to buy the pen, but Prachi is still lost in thought, so the pen vendor leaves. The lady selling the pen knocks on Rambo's car window and she asks him to buy the pen because her children are hungry. Rambo gives the pen seller 500 rupees and he buys the pen, but he asks the pen seller to keep both the pen and the money. Meanwhile, Rambo and Prachi's car were beside each other in the traffic, but they couldn't see each other. At the Coley's house, Rhea tells Palavi that Rambo will not think that Prachi is in this condition because her truth is out and her respect is gone and Prachi couldn't forget say that. But in reality, Rambo would think that Prachi is in this condition because she was sent away from Rambo and this would make Rambo feel pity for Prachi. And Rambo would hug Prachi and their pictures would come in the newspaper. At the traffic signal, Rambo tries to look at the car beside him in which Prachi and Sushma were sitting, but he couldn't see that it was Prachi. Prachi's sari palu flies out of the car and it covers Rambo's face in his own car, but the traffic was free and Rambo drive off. Prachi also tries to look at the man that a sari flies to, but Sushma also drives off. Sushma sees Prachi thinking and she says that Rambo kicked Prachi away from his life, but it is unfortunate that Prachi cannot throw Rambo out of her mind, but it is not good for Prachi to think about Rambo all the time. At the Coley's house, Palavi tells Rhea that Rambo would never meet Prachi, but Rhea says that Palavi had said this when her marriage was fixed with Rambo, but at the end of the day, Rambo went to Prachi, so what is the guarantee that this will not happen again? Palavi says that she is the guarantee and that is why she would get Rhea married to Rambo very soon. Rhea says that new house door would open when the old house door closes, so Rambo would only be able to marry her only when he divorced Prachi. But now both Rambo and Prachi are still legally married, even though they are separated. Palavi says that she would get Rambo and Prachi's divorce done and Rhea says that did Palavi forget that when she talked to Rambo about his divorce with Prachi, then Rambo left the house and he did not return home for many days. Palavi says that even though Rambo left the house, but he did not go to Prachi because at the moment, Rambo really hates Prachi for cheating on him with Sidat 
and this is a good sign. Palavi says that she knows and she understands that Drambru is taking time to sign on the divorce papers, so they would have to make Prachi sign on the divorce papers first, so she would send the divorce papers to Prachi tomorrow. At Sushma's house, Prachi is in the room and she is devastated, and she looks at Drambru's picture in the newspaper, and she says that Drambru is now a successful businessman after one month that they have been separated. Prachi remembered her moment with Drambru in the past, and she keeps the newspaper back on the table and she begins to cry. Rambrus was heckles in Prachi's ears and she gets afraid and she cries. Rambru comes home and he takes out his clothes from the cupboard, but he begins to remember Prachi. Rambru thinks that there is no place for Prachi even in his imagination and he sleeps on his bed. On the other hand, Prachi also cries while lying down on her bed thinking about Rambru and Rambru also thinks about Prachi. And they both lay down on their furious bed crying while a sad song plays in the background. Okay, so this is how I'll continue to give you guys the shorter, shorter version of Twist of Fate on this channel, while the longer version will be on one of my other channel. So if you come across the channel, then you can subscribe to that as well and follow Twist of Fate longer version from the channel. But shorter versions will always be uploaded on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell and share this video and like it, give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And I'll see you again in my next video. Bye guys.